Hi, I'm Cliff Sadoff, Extension Specialist at Purdue University, and in this video I want to talk to you about spider mites. I'm standing in front of some boxwoods, and the boxwoods on my right over here is green in a healthy state, and the boxwood to its left is somewhat yellow, and that's been discolored by spider mite injury. From the distance, the leaves of the shrub appear yellow. Upon closer inspection, you can see that this discoloration is caused by white stipples and that the leaves are lightly covered with a fine webbing. The stippling is caused when mites pierce the leaf tissue with a fine wire-like needle and lap up the liquid with their paddle-like mouth parts. You can see the puddle of leaf sap being sucked into the mite's body. Spider mites are small, eight-legged arthropods that are closely related to spiders. They are often found on the undersides of leaves, in groups, where veins come together at the bottom of the leaf. The two spotted spider mites on this leaf produce fine webbing to help them crawl to new feeding sites. The adult female on the left is crawling upside down, and the one on the right is feeding on the leaf tissue. Eggs laid by females absorb water and are easily recognized as clear, round balls. Shed skins can accumulate during periods of dry weather, as you see on these oak leaves. This can give the leaves a dusty appearance. Spider mites that attack oaks, honey locusts, flowering fruit trees, and even flower gardens are more of a problem during warm weather when the daily maximum temperature is above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Spider mites that attack spruce and junipers, including the spruce spider mite, thrive during cool weather when the daily maximum temperature is below 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Some plants, like boxwood, have boxwood spider mites that attack boxwood during the cool spring, and when the weather warms in the summer, the two spotted spider mites become the dominant problem. Predatory mites like this phytoseid over here will crawl along the leaves in search of prey and often use the webs to hunt. You can learn to recognize some of the other common predators of spider mites at the Purdue Plant Doctor webpage available at purdueplantdoctor.com. Uh, you can simply type pirate to get images of the minute pirate bug. You get uh, images of these very common predators. Here we see the uh, adult, which is fairly common in the fall, often will be biting your arm as well, but they're very effective uh, mite predators. Uh, the immatures look very different, but they too have a uh, sucking mouth parts that they stick inside. Spider mites, uh, we can go back and look for green lace wings. Selecting green lace wings, we can expand on the image of the adult to see the lacy wings. We can then click on the image of the larvae to get an expanded view to see the larval sticking its sickle-shaped mouth part inside. In this case, it happens to be uh, eggs, but they also will take these same mouth parts and suck spider mite prey. Because spider mites are small and hard to see with the naked eye, one way of sampling for them is by tapping branches on top of a white sheet of paper and that dislodges the spider mites and then you can take a look with your hand lens and you can actually see them crawling around. Now, sometimes they're hard to see and if you don't have a hand lens, if you want to know if you have dust or not, what you can do, if, if it's a piece of dust or a spider mite, the first thing you do is you tip your, your sheet. That knocks off all the plant tissue and then you can focus on these moving spots. You see that one over there? Okay, great. That actually shook them up a little bit. And if you're really in a hurry, you go like this. And you count the number of smears. We can go back to the Purdue Plant Doctor webpage to get specific information about spider mites by typing in spider and selecting spider mites. And we can then compare the key features such as bronzing of leaves, uh, as well as uh, webbing uh, that is associated with spider mites. And you can get a close-up on this uh, just to be sure. And uh, we can go then close the image 
and then review some of more of the symptoms about the different types of discoloring as well as, as the webbing and the biology. And then uh, look at management recommendations. Uh, most of these uh, include tactics that conserve the natural enemies uh, that we talked about earlier uh, and include such tactics as uh, using selective insecticides or uh, even just spraying the plants with a strong stream of water. You can then take this uh, list of effective pesticides uh, with you to the store to see uh, what is available and compare that with what is on our list uh, before you go out and make your purchase. So please be sure to visit our Plant Doctor webpage and don't let your plant problems get you down.